What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about the recent announcement of Strike Unique and Exclusive Weapons coming to Destiny 2. But before we get into it guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. Also tell me down below within that comment section what your favourite Strike Exclusive piece of gear was from Destiny 1. So let's get into it. On a recent Destiny 2 roadmap we can see that Strike Unique rewards have been pushed back with the 1.1.4 update on March 20th. 27th next month the latest roadmap confirmed the change of dates and to be honest before recently we had no idea what these exclusive unique rewards were from nightfalls i initially thought they had something to do with the emblems and others they already talked about but that has been confirmed to not be the case here is what christopher about said in regards to why the nightfall unique rewards have been delayed with today's update we've moved a few items out to later releases, this is because we are trying to ensure each feature we add hits a sufficiently high quality bar, so while we really wanted to get Nightfall Strike Unique weapons into your hands next week to coincide with Nightfall scoring, it's more important that each of these rewards live up to the difficulty it will take to earn them. They have to be super cool, so we're giving the artists extra time to make sure they are super cool. So here for the first time Barrett states strike unique weapons, so it's basically confirmed. Also interesting is the fact he states these weapons will be difficult to earn and that the design team artists need more time making sure they are extra special. I think pretty much this confirms that they won't be reskins, which again is great news. I'm also expecting there to be at least one unique weapon per strike. So what strikes do we have? We have Exodus Crush, the Inverted Spire, the Pyramidian, Savathun's Song, the Arms Dealer, Lake of Shadows, the PS4 Exclusive, Tree of Probabilities and a Garden World. Now saying they might be one per strike seems a little bit much, but I actually believe it's in Bungie's best interest. If strikes have unique rewards, those unique rewards need to be different for sure. Let's take a look at the strike exclusive weapons from Destiny 1. And to be honest, it's actually more than I remember. The Treads Upon Stars, which drop from any Cabal theme strike. The Imago Loop, which is from the Echo Chamber and the Undying Mind Strikes. The Baron's Ambition, which was from the Fallen Saber Strike. The Devil's Dome, which was from the Sepix Perfected. The Wretched Eye and the Abomination High Strikes. The Grasp of Malak was from the Will of Crota Strike. This one I remember everyone grinding for for such a long time. The Shadow Thief Strike offers the Does Not Bow. We had the Dark Blade Spite from the Sunless Cell Strike and the Stolen Will from the Winter's Run Strike and there could be even more. Also many of these strikes also offered exclusive class items and armour pieces so these strikes offered more than just weapons as unique pieces. So to expect a single weapon from every strike in D2 isn't too much to ask when you think about how they were in Destiny 1. So as we move forward with Destiny 2, things are definitely starting to pick up with the recent changes to Nightfalls in terms of these new emblems to chase, also with the additional addition of unique weapons also coming, strikes and Nightfalls could be a fun place to be and grind again. The fact they state these weapons are going to be difficult to earn also is a great thing too. Not everybody's going to have them. What these weapons will be though, we don't know at the moment. I wouldn't mind seeing a few old beasts return from Destiny 1. Maybe an improved Grasp Malak, that would be epic. Imagine a return of the Imago Loop, the wannabe Fatebringer. These Nightfall Unique Rewards, I've got a feeling, will be great and I can't wait to see what they are. At the moment, they are planned to be released in May sometime and exact date is not yet being released. But when it does, I will have you guys covered here on my channel as per usual. But yeah guys, tell me what you think about these Strike Unique Weapons coming to the game. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. Remember tell me what your favourite Destiny 1 Strike exclusive piece of gear was. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.